So welcome day 46, educating Farah and Ruby. And uh, they're pretty much through the first thing. You know, what I told you I wanted to do was to get them where you could lead them out pretty well and just walk up to them and catch them. And I've got that going pretty well with both of them. You can just, they'll lead pretty well without you having to pull on them. And Ruby's a little better about letting you just walk up and catch her. Farah, you can do it, but she's still a little bit goosey about it, but she's going to be okay. So I'm going to do some new things today that I've not done before. And the first one is to worm them. Um, they, ha they were wormed when they were babies in a chute where they put them in a small chute and worm them that way, but they've not been wormed just like this, like they will be for the rest of their lives. And uh, so in order to prepare them for that, what I've done is I've just, the last oh, two or three days, I've just been putting my finger in, my ma in their mouth like that and letting them kind of get used to that. So then that way they're not going to be freaked out when something goes in their mouth. So I'm just going to take the wormer here and just gently put it in the corner of her mouth, but not try to... Yeah, just let her chew on that for a second and then take it out. So this shouldn't be a problem. Since she's not having a problem with that, then I can just come right here, shoot that in her mouth, and, and she's dewormed. So that was pretty easy. And I thought it would be, and that's with any horse, by the way. If you will use your finger and get them used to it, then they won't fight you when you do that. The next thing I want to do is um, get, get them ready, ready for trailer loading. And the way to do that is to send them over a piece of plywood. So they've not done this before. Let me get my stick here. I have done a sending exercise where I send them between me and the fence, and I've done that a few times. Um, Farah's not as good at it as Ruby is, but they both do it. So I'm just gonna pull this piece of plywood through here. long ways like that and see what she will do when I ask her to go across it and I have no idea what she's going to do she's not seen it before I'm gonna ask her to go across this plywood Come here, babe. she may be a little bit worried about it she is <laughs> she is so we'll give her a few times to work on it and she's the the more unsure of the two fillies. And if she doesn't make it today, that's not a big deal. We'll work on it a little. And if she doesn't make it over there, we can work on it again tomorrow. That's the beauty of just taking your time. Ah, there we go, she's sniffing it. She's sniffing it. Yeah, she's probably gonna be all right. And as long as she's sniffing it, I'm not gonna try to ask her to go over it. And this is, this is trailer loading. Once you can send your horse across something that makes a noise, a piece of wood or, some, or a bridge, then you can load them in a trailer. It's the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna ask her. There, good. Good girl. Beautiful. <laughs> She's not too sure. A lot of times they'll jump back the first time they do that. That's okay. Do not want to rush them. No, you don't want to scare them. Good girl. Good girl, Farah. Good girl. Let's try it again. Can you go across it? Can you go across it? There. Good. Good girl. Okay, come on around. Let's try it again. better the second time. Yield your hindquarters. Not very good, but as I said, Ruby's a little better at this than she is. She's getting it. <laughs> she just jumped it. <laughs> well, that was pretty smart. Just jump over it, huh? <laughs> so I would like that yield to be better. It's better on this side. And I'd like her to just walk across that. But that's pretty good. And uh, after she gets to where she'll 
just walk across this board real easily and I can send her, which she's doing pretty well with the sending part, then you'll be able to trailer load her. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is I'm going to pony her outside, which I have done once, and I think it was yesterday. I did it uh, for about three minutes, just a little bit. So I'm gonna get my saddle horse and just take her outside, see how she does. All right, let's go this way, girl, good. Now she sees the bridge and says, what in the world is that thing? Mm. But I love how both of them, see how they're just curious? They're not really scared. And that's part of, if you go back to my very first video, these horses were born outside, they were raised outside. And so they are not afraid of their own shadow. And that helps them with this kind of stuff quite a bit. Oh, now she's going to chew on it. Hey, uh, I kind of want you to go across it, not eat it. Okay, come here. Can you do that? Oh, she says, what? It makes noise. And it's pretty old, so it doesn't make a lot of noise. Yeah, good job. She's checking it out. Stop eating it. Let's go across it. Good girl, yield your hindquarters. And you can see she's a little better at yielding than Farah is, but you know, that's just the way it works. They'll get better as time goes on. Come on, come on, good. Okay, so we've brought Farah out here and I've got my saddle horse runner. And runner's really good at this kind of stuff because hardly anything bothers him. If she wraps this rope around runner's neck or under his tail, he won't get upset. So that's a good thing. <laughs> if you don't have a good pony horse, don't do this because you'll, you'll get yourself in a wreck that you don't want to be in. So I, I told you I did this yesterday with her and you want to do it real gently. I do put the rope over the saddle horn, Come on. but I don't usually wrap it just kind of put it right there and kind of hold it and all this is all i did yesterday just kind of went in some small circles let her get used to kind of following him around a little bit i did not try to trot her at all yesterday we might try that here in a second Let's speed up okay and I don't know if you heard Ruby whinnying back there because she can't see her. There's a building in between them and she can't, couldn't see Farrah, so she started crying. Um, the way I'm gonna deal with that is within the next few weeks, I have a, uh, a pen opening up and I'll put them in separate pens. And then uh, where they can touch noses, but they're not gonna be together. And after I've done that for a few weeks, then I'll put them where they're maybe in another pen that's 50 feet away and they could still see each other, but they're not together. And that's how you deal with, uh, with herd bound stuff. And it's a gentle way to fix it. So let's see what she does when we try to trot a little bit here. I expect she may not do very well the first time. So I'm gonna give her a little rope here. Oh, well, she did. She decided to trot with us. That's excellent. So I'm letting the road slide there. I don't want to pull on her too hard if I don't have to. Good. And when I did this yesterday with Ruby, she got a little more excited than Farrah did. And, uh, Kind of wanted to jump ahead. I was ponying her on my right side today. We might as well just do it on the left. They need to be able to do it on both sides. So if she does jump ahead, she'll just hit the end of the rope, which is what happened to her yesterday. Like that. She kind of got excited. 
she does like to run. And so if she gets ahead of my knee, and this is the problem I had with her yesterday, then I'll just bump her back because I don't want her in front of my knee. She needs to follow, not lead. Okay. All right, now I expect when we start trotting, she'll do that again. Yep. Like I said, you need a good pony horse because they, they can run around behind that pony horse pretty quick. Ooh. All right, that's pretty good. You know, pretty good, not perfect, but pretty good. Let's see if she'll come up here to me. Good girl, good girl, good girl. What's she gonna do if I take my hat off? Nice, very nice. Okay, so there we go, educating Farah and Ruby. They're coming along pretty well.